Hi, I'm Greg Whitmore from Tiny Mountain Wellness. First thing I want to do is apologize for my hair. I usually don't let it get this long, but uh, it's June 6, 2020, and we're in the midst of a COVID-19 pandemic. Barbershops are closed down in our county, so uh, I'm well overdue for a haircut. But that aside, thank you for checking out this video. As many of you know, I'm really big and a big supporter of intermittent fasting. I wouldn't have said that a year and a half ago. I've taught health for 29 years. And for 28 of those years, or at least 27 and a half of those years, I taught fasting as a dirty word, and that we should eat several small meals, we should eat breakfast every day, but I was teaching it wrong. So how did I get into intermittent fasting? It was about a year and a half ago that I was talking to my physician and he asked me what were some of the things that worried me. And really I said that aging was scary to me. I wanted to age gracefully and uh, live a long uh, quality life. And so he said I should check out intermittent fasting. And again, at that time I was really skeptical about fasting, but I looked into the subject and started trying intermittent fasting and I've been a big believer since. Uh, it's allowed me to lose 30 pounds. The weight loss wasn't my goal in the beginning. It allowed uh, my symptoms from an autoimmune disease to go away. And that was a surprise to me. I'll put a link to that video about my autoimmune disease in the description below. But it has allowed me to have less stress. I sleep better. I have more energy. So there's tons of benefits to intermittent fasting that I want to share with you. But I think knowledge is power. And I'm going to share with you a few books that I read in the beginning as I was studying intermittent fasting. The first one is by Dr. Jason Fung, and it's called The Complete Guide to Fasting. Now, Dr. Fung is a nephrologist or kidney specialist out of Canada. And as a kidney specialist, he studied and treated a lot of type 2 diabetics and he saw the harmful effects. So he really wanted to get behind uh, what the cause of type 2 diabetes. Rather than just treating type 2 diabetes with medicine, he wanted to treat the cause. And so in this book he talks about how intermittent fasting is actually good for our health. It's not about starving. He talks about how it works as a treatment and you can actually reverse type 2 diabetes. Uh, he talks about who should try intermittent fasting and who shouldn't. And then he discusses various ways uh, of intermittent fasting. So I highly recommend this book as you learn about intermittent fasting. Another book, and this again is by Dr. Jason Fung. I read everything by Dr. Fung because uh, Again, he's the kind of the leading specialist on intermittent fasting and type 2 diabetes, but it's called the Obesity Code. And really, uh, it unlocks the secrets of obesity. It's not all about hunger. It's not all about lack of willpower. It's not all about heredity. It's really about hormones and especially insulin. Insulin caused by the food that we eat and the response to insulin and how that drives weight gain. So it's a little more scientific, but tons of great information and I think it helps to understand how and why we put on weight uh, and the cause of it rather than uh, trying to diet and just cut calories. And then I talk about a lot in my blog about the six types of intermittent fasting. One of them is eat, stop, eat. So I try to use all different types of intermittent fasting. I think we need to keep our body guessing, but eat, stop, eat. Is a, is a style of intermittent fasting that I use quite a bit. And this book by Brad Pylon is, uh, explains a lot about intermittent fasting and how, again, how weight gain happens and how fasting's been around for years and years. Uh, but then he just talks about a simple plan that you don't have to deprive yourself. So I highly recommend those three books. There's other books you can read and, and I'll share some of those as we go along. But not, again, knowledge is power. So check out those three books, learn more about intermittent fasting, and I'd be interested in the comments below why you are looking into intermittent fasting. Is it for weight loss? It works great for weight loss. Do you have a type two diabetes condition? It works great in treatment for that. 
Are you just looking to age more gracefully? Works great for that. Brain health, put off any chances of Alzheimer's? Great. Wanting to reduce your stress, sleep better? Intermittent fasting has tons of benefits. And again, I highly recommend it, but learn about it, try it out, and I'm with you every step of the way. If there's anything I can do, let me know. In the meantime, check out more videos on my uh, YouTube channel. Please subscribe, hit the bell notification, and also go to my blog at tinymountainwellness.com. Again, thanks for being here. We'll see you next time.